Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace. Kuwait's first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Highness Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, who conveyed to His Royal Highness the greetings of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and his appreciation of His Royal Highness's keenness on bolstering brotherly historic relations between Bahrain and Kuwait. He also conveyed his pleasure with the results of the recent brotherly visit of His Royal Highness to Kuwait to strengthen bilateral coordination and cooperation. The Prime Minister underscored the deep-rooted bilateral relations which are the foundation of cooperation at all levels. He recalled with appreciation the stances of Kuwait led by His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah in support of Bahrain noting his role in strengthening Gulf unity. His Royal Highness welcomed the visit of the Kuwaiti First Deputy Premier highlighting its importance in developing cooperation, particularly in the field of defense. He affirmed that the regional and international developments require increasing meetings to coordinate stances to ensure the safety of the region and to support the Gulf Cooperation Council, as well as Arab solidarity. His Royal Highness reviewed with the first Deputy Prime Minister of Kuwait topics concerning Bahraini-Kuwaiti cooperation, as well as the latest regional and international updates. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness on strengthening bilateral relations and development cooperation at all levels. He noted the wisdom of His Royal Highness, highlighting its value in the Gulf and the Arab world. He also expressed appreciation of the warm welcome the delegation has received, which reflects the strength of bonds between the two brotherly countries.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday attended the inauguration of SEARCH, a new facility established for culture and research. Kuwait's First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Highness Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, also attended the inauguration under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and supported by the Emir of Kuwait. SEARCH is a new state of the art research facility located in Muharraq dedicated to the fields of Bahraini and Arabic literature, poetry, culture, and history. During the inauguration, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that in line with His Majesty King Hamad's vision, the kingdom is committed to protecting Bahrain's rich cultural and historical heritage. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his pleasure at the opening of the new facility, noting that it will make a significant contribution to academic research of Arabic and Bahraini literature, poetry, culture, and history. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince further noted that culture and history underpin the kingdom's development in this regard. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of cultural education to driving creativity, productivity and the growth of Bahrain's key sectors. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to praise the President of the Board of Trustees of the Sheikh Ibrahim Center, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, whose efforts and initiatives to promote Bahrain's culture have generated a positive response both within and outside the kingdom. Following a tour of the research, rather research center and two related projects, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and His Highness the First Deputy Prime Minister of Kuwait then attended a ceremony to mark the official opening of search.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met yesterday evening at Ghaibiyah Palace with Kuwait's First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Highness Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and Kuwait and to support these relations received from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness the Emir of Kuwait. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to stress the importance of deepening cooperation through strengthening their strategic relations framework in order to meet the aspirations of both countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the visit of the Kuwaiti official to Bahrain and expressed his deep thanks and appreciation, exemplifying the strong brotherly ties that have con contributed to enhancing bilateral cooperation and development at all levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized the importance of enhancing the security and stability of the region in order to face current challenges and support the essential work being undertaken by the GCC. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then asked the Kuwaiti First Deputy Prime Minister to extend his best wishes to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and to Kuwaiti Crown Prince Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and wish Kuwait further prosperity and development. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Sheikh Nasser Al Sabah reviewed issues of mutual interest, prospects for deeper cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait, and exchanged views on current events regionally and internationally. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then held a dinner banquet in honor of the Kuwaiti First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Kuwait and the accompanying delegation. The Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund to Fallen Servicemen, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today chaired the meeting of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen at Rafar Palace. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Interior, His Excellency Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the committee members were present at the meeting. The Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen was established by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide aid and assistance to the families of security service personnel who have fallen in the line of duty. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted His Majesty the King's central role in the establishment of the fund, which reflects the Kingdom's commitment to providing appropriate support to the families of fallen servicemen who paid the ultimate sacrifice in the service of their country. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed that the fund's work is an ongoing demonstration of the Kingdom's gratitude and appreciation towards Bahrain Security Services, whose dedication to public service forms the foundation of the Kingdom's safety and security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to commend the Royal Servicemen of Plains safeguarding the Kingdom's security, noting that their integrity and professionalism represent a fundamental pillar to the Kingdom's sustainable development. During the meeting, the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen reviewed important steps related to the fund's administrative procedures and its work to support and aid families of fallen servicemen. His Majesty the King issued a royal order establishing the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen under the presidency of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, and President of the Supreme Commission, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen issued an edict appointing members of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen as follows. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Vice President. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Member. Lieutenant General Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Member. Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed bin Hussein Al Jalahma, Member. Major General Tariq Hassan Al Hassan, Member. Brigadier Juris Yusuf bin Rashid Flayfel, Member. Brigadier Adil Abdullah Amin, Member. Colonel Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, as Member. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalif, affirmed that the teams and clubs of Bahrain will seek to only win gold medals, adding that all facilities will be provided to achieve this goal for the year 2018 to become the year of the gold. His Highness stated that the unlimited support and follow-up of the leadership serve as an incentive to exert more efforts to promote Bahraini sports. Sheikh Nasser went on to say that the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is the basis for all strategies outlined for Bahraini sports to make more achievements evident in Bahrain winning 429 medals in 2017 and winning the Asian Handball Clubs League Championship as well as the Arab and Gulf Handball Championships. His Highness said that the achievements of 2017 would naturally result in naming 2018 the Year of Gold. He called on the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to intensify its programs and support to national teams and leagues to achieve this goal. Kuwait's first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Highness Sheikh Nasser Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, visited today the General Command of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, where he was received by the Commander in Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Highness was also received by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Yusuf bin Ahmed Al-Jalahma, the BDF Chief of Staff, Diyab bin Sagr Al-Naimi, the Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al-Khalifa, and Captain His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al-Khalifa. The Commander in Chief of the BDF praised a deep-rooted relation between Bahrain and Kuwait and their leaderships who always are keen to on strengthening with these relations to achieve common goals. The course of joint military cooperation and coordination was discussed during the meeting to further bolster bilateral relations. The first Deputy Prime Minister of Kuwait was briefed about the units and arms of the BDF, as well as its development and the prosperous heir of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. During his visit, His Highness was accompanied by the Ambassador of Kuwait to Bahrain, Sheikh Azam bin Barak Al Sabah, Kuwait's Chief of the General Staff, Lieutenant General Mohammed Khalid Al Khadr. The Under Secretary of Kuwait's Ministry of Defense, Sheikh Ahmed Mansour Al Ahmed Al Sabah, and senior Kuwaiti officers. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Defense, Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Director of the BDF General Command, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Inspector General Major General Abdullah Hassan Al Naimi, and senior BDF officers. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, stated that the Council's Office Authority in its meeting discussed a number of legislative proposals on the mechanism of organizing the restructuring of support to its beneficiaries in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to achieve compatibility between the two authorities for the benefit of the country and its citizens. Al Mullah noted that it was decided to form a team that supports the legislative authority 
to provide all sub reports, information studies, statistics, and related data. The Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa visited today the Camping Services Center and followed up on the camping affairs. Sheikh Khalifa inaugurated the Safety and Camp Awareness Campaign, which stemmed from Sheikh Khalifa's keenness to provide safety for campers. The Governor reiterated his emphasis on the goal that the Governorate is working to achieve, which is easing the burden on citizens and providing them with comfort and ensuring their stability, starting with counseling insurance. He noted that the safety awareness campaign continues, which will include many initiatives, such as forming a team that follows up on emergencies in the governorate. The Camping Services Center will also provide campers with guidance and awareness on an ongoing basis. The annual First Target Expo was held today at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. More in this report with Shogun Hamad. Organized by Future Target, the long-awaited 8-in-1 Expo was held today. The Expo is one of the biggest exhibitions in the GCC, specialized in different fields and containing various exhibitions, including Bahrain International Modern House, Bahrain International Technology Expo, the Health and Beauty Expo, the Fashion Time Exhibition, and Perfume Expo. The difference this year between the last year, last year it was four exhibitions, it was Modern House, Technology, Health and Beauty. And this year it will be there is uh, two, we add two exhibition more, this fashion time and perfume. The visitor we are having from Bahrain and from Gulf, uh, 